हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू टेक प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द नेविगेशन ड्रॉर वीडियो सो इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी कंप्लीटेड द डिजाइन ऑफ अवर नेविगेशन ड्रॉर सो यू कैन सी इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ वीडियो वी क्रिएटेड द डिजाइन ऑफ अवर नेविगेशन ड्रॉ एंड इट वर्क परफेक्टली नाउ इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट विद फ्रेगमेंट्स एंड एक्टिविटीज सो डोंट फॉर द डिले नाउ लेट स्टार्ट दीडियो एंड सी हाउ टू कंप्लीट अवर नेविगेशन ड्रॉ So for this, I open my Unreal Studio. So you can see this is the code where I left in my previous part. So first of all, for using fragments, first of all I have to create some fragments for home fragment, camera fragment, and user fragment. And you can create as many fragment it is your choice. But I am going to create three fragments. So how to create fragments? Simply click on Arias, then click on Layout, then right click, then click on New, and then click on Layout Resource File. So give any file name. so my first fragment is home fragment so i give the name is home fragment and now i select okay now this fragment is created successfully simply click on split and first i change the constraint layout to relative layout so first of all i have to add a background color to make a difference between the other fragments so you can write anything in fragment it is your choice but i am going to write a simple text with a background color so by this you can easily identify which fragment is open when so if one thing if you want to know how to open activity from fragment then i give the link of video nai button you can watch that video too so in the bottom navigation bar i created the dead type of fragment from where you can move from fragment to an activity so now i have to simply what i have to do simply add an background color here so i simply type android background and you can give my color code and you can give any color code it is your choice so hashtag ff9800 so you can see so it look fine now what i have to do i have to simply take an text view so simply take an open bracket type text view now set the layout with wrap content height wrap content center in parent true and give any text which you want to give so i give the android text home fragment give any text size so i give 30 sp is fine now give any text color i give the white color but you can give any color now it look fine now simply close this fragment so this text view is looking nice and the fragment is created successfully now i i need two more fragment so in this video i am going to implement three fragments home fragment camera fragment and a user fragment so basically i create the four icon in my navigation drawer but i am going to implement three fragments so the method is same for every fragment so it is very lengthy process to make to make the video short i simply implement the three fragment not four so first i copy this so simply click on it and then right click then copy then again click on layout right click then click on paste so you can see the fragment open dialog box open successfully now give the any different name so this is my camera fragment so i give the name camera fragment now okay now again right click on layout then again click on paste now this is my mess user fragment so i simply give the name user fragment now again click on okay So this is my user fragment so I come here and simply change the text by user and I also change the background color so I give the this color so this look fine now I open my camera fragment and click on split now this is my camera fragment so I simply change the text to show it is a camera fragment and I also have to change the background color so now our fragment work is complete so for handling these fragments we have to create the java classes correspond to that fragment so if we don't create the java, java classes then so there is no purpose of creating this fragment so to manage this fragment first of all we have to create it some java classes so how to create java classes simply open the java expand folder and simply right click on your packet name then click on new then select java class now give the any class name so this is class for my home fragment so i simply type here home fragment and press enter now here you have to type one keyword so simply type extends fragment now how this java class recognize that is this is the fragment for our home fragment so for this we have to override a method so how to override a method simply click alt insert now select override methods now here you have to type on create view so you can see this is the on create view now simply press enter and now you can see the all code written by on so first of all what you have to do simply delete this line so i delete this line now here you have to type inflator dot inflate and inside the bracket you have to type r dot layout dot 
your fragment name this class is for home fragment so i simply type home fragment now take comma and type container now again take a comma and type false now semicolon now this is easy and you can see this is very easy now what i have to do i have to simply copy this class so i copy this class now i again click on package right click then paste now my second fragment is for my camera fragment so i simply type here camera fragment so this class is for my camera fragment so i click on okay now simply change the name here so i replace it by camera fragment that's easy now again right click on your packet name paste now this one is for my user fragment class so i simply type here user fragment and okay now this class is created for handling user fragments so i replace the name by user fragment by default the user fragment spelling is mismatch here so don't take tension about this and if i give the this spelling here so uh, this spelling is fine here so don't take tension now what i have to do i have to simply create an activity so why this activity because i want to show you how to use navigation drawer for both fragments and activity so right click then click on new then select activity and then give empty activity now give any name to your activity i give the send activity because i want to open this activity when someone click on send button now click on finish so open your activity send xml i simply click on split now i change the constraint layout to relative layout and i have to simply i delete this from here <clears throat> now what i have to do i have to simply add a text view here to show this this is the send activity so i simply give the text take and text view and give the width and height wrap content wrap content and i simply take and text and give any text so i simply type here send activity now set any text size which you want i think 30 sp is fine now type center in parent and pass true now close this now it's now everything work is complete now it's an error because this line is not moved completely so i delete this line so everything is complete now now i close everything so these all are fragments and everything i am going to close now now the only main activity work is left we have to simply implement and switch case into our main activity so by the help of switch case user the program identify which fragment on where can say which option user pressed and on any option which user press we have to open that fragment or we can say open that activity so for this as you already know in my activity main xml file i already give then id to my navigation view so this is the id for our navigation view so first of all we have to assign the xml id into java id so declare an variable name of navigation view type so simply type here navigation view give any variable name i again give navigation view equal find view by id r dot id dot navigation view then semicolon now after this what you have to do we have to set an on click listener to this navigation view so simply type navigation view dot set navigation item selected listener and inside bracket simply pass this now this is so an error so why this so an error because if we pass here this we have to implement a method so how to implement method simply come on the top and on the right side of app combat activity simply type implements then type navigation view dot on navigation item selected listener so this is the option now press enter now it still show an error but don't take tension about the error let me solve all the errors now we want to set our user by default on our home fragment so for this we have to line add a line so simply type get support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot replace then inside bracket simply type r dot id dot and your frame layout id name my frame layout id name is fragment container then new then by default we have to set user on home fragment so simply type here home fragment it automatically show in suggestion of java class so simply type it and then semicolon now we have to use and simply switch case so come up above the on breakfast method so i press enter here now here we have to write the code b remember just above the on break pass method this is the else bracket this is the if bracket and this is the back press method and this is the main bracket so we have to write the all code outside of this bracket but inside the main bracket now here you have to implement a method 
right click anywhere here now click on generate and now click on implement methods and you can see there is only one method on navigation item selected so simply click and ok and it automatically write the code for us now by default it written false so we have to change it to true because it helped to select it which item is selected by the user and it highlighted that item now press enter here inside this we have to use a simple switch case so simply type switch inside bracket you have to type menu item dot get item id now take two braces now it's show an error because i by mistake i enter the wrong spelling so this is the correct spelling of switch that's it now every error is gone and you can see this error is also gone now we have to simply add an switch cases and we can say cases so simply type case dot case r dot id dot and first id is home and what is the home so you can see we already design a menu so this is our menu dot xml and we are going to use these ids home message camera user so we are going to use these ids now close this now when someone press on home i have to open home fragment so simply type get support fragment manager dot begin transaction replace and inside the bracket simply type r dot id dot fragment container then comma then we have to open home fragment then semicolon then simply add a break now what i have to do i have to simply copy this case so control c now paste it here now second one is for user so i replace it by user and if someone click on user then i have to open user fragment so i replace it by user that's it now again paste it here so i paste it here and if someone click on camera then i have to open a camera then i have to open a camera fragment so simply i have to replace it by camera fragment so i type here camera fragment and that's easy now last one is for my basically i use six item into our navigation drawer but we are implementing four only so it is very easy you can implement by on and the process is same for every item so you can add as many items but the last is only left how to open activity so this is the main case so simply type r dot id dot send so when someone click on send i have to open an activity so for this what you have to do simply take an intent 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 equal new intent inside bracket you have to type this not main activity type this and your new activity name my activity name is send activity dot class then start activity intent and then at last simply put a break and that's easy now what you have to type first i come down and above the return true you have to type drawer layout dot closer drawer and inside bracket you have to type gravity compare dot start now i remove the extra spaces now we have to simply add an one more line so what is the one more line is that because by default we are have set to our user on home fragment so for this we have to also add to include an one more line so for this simply we have to use a save instance state so simply type if save instance state below the toggle sync state we remember equal equal null then inside bracket take in two curly braces and you have to type here first i copy this line so simply copy this line Control C and paste it here. Now you have to add one more line. After the bracket ending bracket, simply type commit. And below this, you have to check this item too. So simply type navigation view dot set checked item. And inside bracket, simply type your ID name of home. And that's it. Now our program is completely ready. So it's time to check our navigation draw. So I use debugging mode for checking my application. If you have low system configuration, then I always prefer you use debugging mode. So I connect my phone. And I press on run button and you can see Gradle start building. Now the Gradle build successful and install the application in my phone and you can see application installed successfully. So here is there is two errors are present. The frame layout is present on half screen and if I click on any item it does not open a new fragment. So let's check what is the error and, and where we do done the mistake. So the first mistake is that I forget to add dot commit in every switch case. So sorry for this mistake. So simply add dot commit everywhere in switch case. So I add the dot commit here and here and that's it. So there are two mistake. One is when I click on fragment, so it does not switch the fragment. So I write the code here for dot commit and you can see now if I run this application that it switch the code, but 
the fragment also appear on half screen so i have to encounter this problem too so why this is happen our fragment is contained in our fragment container so i open my main activity xml file and here is the problem and you can see i give the layout with is wrap content but i have to give it match parent so this is the problem by which our fragment is appear on the half of the screen so now our app is completely ready and it's time to check our app and now i click on run button and gradle start building now gradle builds successful and install the application in my phone and you can see the application work fine so hopefully guys you understand everything and it work every time fine and everything is fine and i by default i am on home fragment so hopefully guys you understand everything if there is any query just comment down below i try to give the answer of every kind please like the video and subscribe my channel for latest update for web development project and for android project and one thing of my code is that i show you in the start i definitely made it in the at last so hopefully you like my videos so please give me some love and show some support to my videos thank you see you soon in next video